And welcome to the Wing Show. And today we won't be joined by Coach Anselm, but instead we'll talk with two current players of the Aberdeen Wings. We'll also be joined by one former Wing talking about a big tournament win for his college team. We'll also be uh, kind of giving you a little heads up about what's coming up this weekend and also next weekend with home games inside the ODI Center. That and more coming up right here on the Wing Show. Earlier today, we had the opportunity to talk with current Wings players Colin O'Neill and Drew Doyon. And we're talking now with Drew Doyon, number eight for your Aberdeen Wings. And Drew, yeah, thanks for taking some time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you come from the Indianapolis area. You know, tell us about the the style of hockey that's out there compared to out here in the Midwest and in the NHL altogether. Yeah. Um, well, we have a, a, a USHL team there. Um, actually, they just they left this year, but we've had one for I don't know how many years. And um, our my um, growing up, it was based off we were called the Junior Ice because they right. were the Indianapolis Ice. And um, it's you know it's like I've, I haven't seen many kids play around here, so I don't know like how they're you know being taught and stuff. But you know I I know that we uh, we had a lot of skilled guys, but a lot of hardworking guys. And um, I'd say the teams that I usually played with would compare to the team uh, we have here in Aberdeen. Cool, cool. Um, you know, you come here to Aberdeen, and, and uh, what was your role last year compared to this year? Is it any different, or is it the same type? Um, I think my role this year is a little bit different in, a, in an aspect of um, I'm going to try to do more with the puck, you know, make more plays, um, try to do more for the team. Last year, you know, obviously I didn't just go out there and just run around, but um, – I, I did the, the some things that people don't really want to do. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I, I, I mean, everybody loves scoring and everybody likes getting assists and, you know, just whatever whatever to help the team, really. You bet. Uh, this team is, is, has gone through ups and downs this year so far, but uh, there's still a lot of season to play. And uh, where do you guys think you are right now? I think we're just in, um, you know, uh, just a, a little slump that every team goes through. I mean, we play a lot of games. We play 60 games a season. Um, and, he, I mean, you just can't expect to win all 60, you know, and you're going to hit a rough patch every once in a while. But I don't think, I don't think it's anything to worry about. Um, you know, we had, we, we played good last weekend and I, and we had a good practice today and I think we'll have a good practice this week and, and we'll go from there. Cool. Um, what you got some plans for the Christmas holiday? Yep. I am going back home. Um, we have about a week this year, so going back home and, um, Maybe stop by grandma's and <laughs> say hi to mom and dad. So you bet. Uh, in in continuing with the rest of the season, uh, has there been any goals that you yourself has set, or maybe uh, as a team or as leaders on the team or, or, or older players on the team have maybe set? Yeah. Um, well, you know, in Aberdeen, we like to do the five percent better each day, but um, we also like, you know, to um, go out and have a good third period. You know, because usually. You know, games, the third period can really win you or lose you a game. And we're trying to focus on, you know, playing solid the first two and then going out there and making that final push. That's something that we're really trying to focus on, um, along with just doing all the little things, all the detail points, you know, because you can't go out there anymore and just skate around five guys and go score by yourself. you got to do the little things to work up to get in those goals. Very true. Now, later on, uh, big plans for later on in your career. Obviously, you know, we're always trying to uh, improve our players, get them on to the next level. But do you have anything in your own personal mind uh, of, of in the future? Yeah, I mean, I would like to play Division One hockey. Um, you know, I'd really like to play hockey in college. So um, I haven't, I don't have a commitment yet or anything. But, you know, I still have uh, this year and next year, and hopefully it'll all, all work out. You bet. Well, thanks for taking some time today. And, and uh uh, one final question is, what's been the greatest part about uh, playing here in Aberdeen for the Aberdeen Wings? Well, I don't think I've been homesick once because I, I, I enjoy um, everybody here. I like the, my billet family. Um, I have a good roommate and I have a good family off the ice with, my, with the coaches and, and uh, Mr. Odie and then um, all, all, all my teammates. So, I, 
you know, you can't really complain in anything there. So Great. Well, uh, you can catch Drew on the ice this Friday taking on the Bismarck Bobcats here inside the ODI Center. We'll be talking with Colin O'Neill next right here on the Wings Show. The Everton Wings Pro Shop is the best place to find that special something for that special Wings fan in your family this holiday season. The Wings are at home Friday, December 12th and Saturday, December 20th. Both nights, the Wings Pro Shop opens at 5.30 p.m. You can find sweaters, pullovers, caps, t-shirts, memorabilia, and of course, replica Wings jerseys. They're all available at the Wings Pro Shop, located in the lower concourse. Find that special something for the special Wings fan this holiday. Shop the Everton Wings Pro Shop. And welcome back. We're talking now with Colin O'Neill, Odenton, Maryland, our mm -hmm. wings forward. And, um, you know, thanks for taking some time, number one. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. you got to tell me about the hockey out east. It's got to be much different than it is here. Um, yeah, it is. I mean, there's probably a lot more kids involved in hockey, and um, there's definitely more junior leagues on the east coast. There's none in Maryland. No real big junior teams, but, um, you know, it's really good hockey out there. So, um, you know, I got a good start from a young age. You bet. And... Tell us a little bit about uh, all the different levels that you played at and things like that to get up here to the Aberdeen Wings and, and uh, the different things that you learned at all those different levels. Well, um, when I was a squirt, I started playing Tier 1, which is like the highest youth level you can play at. And um, I played all the way, I played that all the way up to my second U18 year, which was the year before I came to Aberdeen. And, um, you know, it's a really high level. You travel a lot, so you get good exposure for scouts and stuff. And, you play really good teams, so it's a really good, um, it's a really good development point. You bet. And as we continue along with the season, you know, we talked with Drew Doyon about it being 60 games uh, throughout the entire year. Where do you feel the team's at right now uh, as we roll right into almost the Christmas holiday? Um, yeah, I think we're getting better every day. We're um, trying to keep our work ethic up, and um, we've been working a lot on offense lately. Um, we've been getting a lot of chances, and we haven't really been able to bury. But I mean, last week we played. Last weekend we played really well, and um, sometimes the end result doesn't really match um, the process. But um, if we keep the process going good, then we should get better results soon. Now, you yourself, when we're on the ice and practice and in the weight room and things like that, what are some areas that you're working on personally um, to help yourself as a player, but the better the team in the end? Um, you know, I've been. I try to work on my speed when we skate. Like today in practice, we did over speed skating and. Um, that's a that's a really good um, point of emphasis for a lot of guys. And um, in the weight room, I mean, just overall strength and making sure you're in good condition for the games is really key. All right. Well, Colin O'Neill, another thing, obviously you have made a commitment to you, uh, to Mass Lowell. And mm -hmm. uh, tell us about that program and, and when you knew that, that program was going to be it for you. Um, well, they've really been on the uprise the last few years. Um, a few years ago, they weren't too good. And now they're, they've been one of the top teams in the country the past three years or so and um, so once I knew they were interested in me it was a pretty easy decision and um, so I really couldn't be happier going you know, anywhere else. How close does that put you to home? Um, I th it's about eight hours which is pretty close one of the closer division one programs so it's nice to be able to stay on the east coast. <laughs> you bet. Uh, one final thing that we asked Drew as well is is what's been one of the greatest parts about playing here in Aberdeen uh, for the Wings? Um, I would say one of the greatest parts is just the people. I mean, everyone's so nice and supportive, as you can see by um, the stands being packed every single game. And I'd say also our facilities are, um, you know, top of the line. Our locker room's great. Our weight room's outstanding. So it's really nice um, to be able to come in every day to a facility like this. You bet. Well, Colin, thank you for taking some time, and good luck for the rest mm -hmm. of the season. And, of course, with your Division One commitment, and we'll tell you more about, uh, actually, we'll talk with a former Aberdeen Wing next. John Grabowski will be joining us on the phone from Concordia Moorhead. The Aberdeen Wings take on the Bismarck Bobcats at ODI Center this Friday. Doors open at 5.30. Get there early for great beer specials. Enjoy food from the Wings concession stand, the Taps Boltley's Chop House booth, or enjoy tasty frozen yogurt from the Cherry Berry booth. Swing by the Wings Pro Shop and find a gift for that Wings fan and your family. General admission just $10, reserve seating just $12. Plus this Friday is college night. Students, you can show your valid college ID and receive $2 off admission. And after the game, skate with the wings. Get on the ice for pictures, autographs, and skate alongside your favorite wings player. Come see the number one show in the North American Hockey League this Friday as your Aberdeen Wings take on the Bismarck Bobcats inside the ODI Center. Go Wings!
Big thanks to Drew Doyon and Colin O'Neill for joining us today on the Wing Show. And now we go to the phone lines to talk with a former Aberdeen Wing and current Concordia Moore head cobber, John Grabowski. John, thanks for taking some time with us today. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you're a, a freshman at Concordia Moorhead, and uh, you guys just came off a big tournament win. Tell us all about it. Yeah, um, so it's a four-team uh, tournament, and there's uh, three teams that are in the tournament every year, um, Middlebury, Norwich, and Plattsburgh State. And they uh, invite a team every year to come out and play. And... Um, no invite team has ever won it, and we were the first to do that in 17-year uh, history, so that was pretty cool, and it was pretty neat. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was a really good experience. It was nice being out there, a really nice area out there, and a lot of tradition there. And Middlebury's won, I think, five or six na- D3 national championships, so there's a lot of tradition there, and it was a, it was a really good time. Excellent, man. Uh, uh, tell us about the Concordia Moorhead Cobbers team. You know, uh, joined by quite a few uh, ex- uh, former Aberdeen Wings as well. And uh, tell us about the Cobbers. You know, very well known in the Midwest, but uh, maybe not nationally as much, especially not before this tournament. But now, uh, definitely some recognition there. And uh, tell us about how your guys' season's been going so far. Yeah, I mean, we we have a we have a really good team this year. We uh. I really like the guys, and um, uh, Zach Deering's on the team. He actually is on my line right now, so I'm pretty familiar playing with him. And I think we have a good team this year. We're solid up front and on in the back end with our goaltenders and uh, defensemen. That's great. And again, we're joined on the phone by former Aberdeen wing John Grabowski and uh, current forward for the Concordia Moorhead Cobbers. And uh, you know, a final question we like to ask all of the former wings players that we bring on the show and. Uh, on various publications that we do. Uh, we always like to ask, you know, what was your favorite part about uh, playing in Aberdeen and being a part of the Aberdeen Wings franchise and organization? Yeah, I mean, I loved it in Aberdeen. I played uh, two other places, juniors, and Aberdeen was by far my favorite place. The fans there, uh, Mr. Odie, and uh, the coaching staff there with uh, FA and Coach Winter. Uh, it was a great time. All the guys there were unbelievable and that was that there's going to be some memories there that stick with me for the rest of my life for sure so that's great uh th- you know what thanks john for taking some time with talking with us today and uh you know uh, congrats on the big tournament win and uh good luck to you and the rest of the concordia moorhead covers on a on a good season thank you very much anytime all right we'll talk to you again all right see ya that was John Grabowski from the Concordia Moorhead Cobbers, a former Aberdeen Wings player, and uh, we wish him and his team all the best of luck and all of our former Aberdeen Wings that are playing Division One and Division Three college hockey. Uh, coming up this Friday, we are taking on the Bismarck Bobcats here uh, at the ODI Center, and we look forward to seeing you all here and, and definitely jamming the stands. It is also college night. All you got to do is co- show your college ID at the gate, and you'll get $2 off admission. So we invite all of our college students from Presentation College and Northern State University, as well as any college, as long as it's a current valid college ID. Show it at the gate and get $2 off. Also, Friday night is Skate with the Wings, and a great opportunity for you to uh, get on the ice after the game is over and uh, get to skate around with your favorite Aberdeen Wings player and take plenty of pictures. They love this kind of stuff, and uh, they always look forward to seeing all their fans out on the ice. Also, the online special jersey auction is still going on. We do have some special jerseys still available from the Aberdeen Area Humane Society special jersey auction that was held a few weeks ago, Um, and you can still get in on that, and the bidding will be updated each and every day. Uh, at 5 o'clock and again those jerseys are being sold on our website at AberdeenWings.com all you have to do you'll see a big banner there it says click to bid and you click on that and place your bid on which jersey you have there's five of them there so uh, go ahead and uh, place your bids on those and the bidding will end December 19th Friday at noon Uh, with that time we'll contact all the winners of the uh, silent auction for the jerseys and Saturday we look forward to seeing you back at the ODI Center for another home game in Aberdeen Wings Hockey. Make sure you always follow us on Facebook and Twitter when the Wings are on the road you can always listen to them on and all season long on 94.1 The Rock as well as ESPNAberdeen.com. Of course watch and listen on FastHockey.com Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter and always check out AberdeenWings.com This has been this week's Wings Coach Show.